Hello, welcome to Stackable, the all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with the WordPress block editor. In this video, we will be showing you how to use one of Stackable's premium features, which is the dynamic content feature. What is dynamic content? Dynamic content allows you to fetch and display content from dynamic sources in both Stackable and native blocks. Adding a dynamic field. Stackable's dynamic content works for both stackable blocks and native blocks. So first, we'll show you how to add a dynamic field. In this example, we went ahead and built a page specifically for selling an apartment. You'll find here the Hero section, a feature section which displays more information on the apartment, another feature section which breaks down the different rooms, and at the bottom is a section which displays other listings. We already have existing posts for each room, and the information in those posts are what the dynamic content feature will fetch for this specific section of the page. So here, we have a three-column card block. What we want to do is show each room in the apartment by displaying the image, room, and short description. Let's start with the leftmost column to display the living room. The first thing you will need to do is to simply highlight the text in the heading block, and then click on the database icon and the toolbar which represents dynamic content. A pop-up will appear with two initial dropdowns which are dynamic source and field. For the dynamic source, we'll choose other posts, since we are fetching data from one of our existing posts. You will see a new field here called posts or pages, where you can find a list of the existing posts you can type in the post title directly in the field, so let's type in living room. Afterwards, we just need to select this specific field. We have a lot of data of the post that we can display, but right now, we want to show the post's title. Afterwards, just click apply, and we will see that our new title is now fetched from the living room post. This means that if later on you decide to change the title of your post, it will automatically change in this page as well. You'll also notice that there's now a red underline on the text, which means the text comes from a dynamic source. Now let's do the same for the description. Instead of selecting post title as the field, we'll select the post excerpt. Working great! Now the last thing we'll do is add the dynamic image. This will fetch the post's featured image. To do this, we can navigate to the inspector and look for the image settings under the style tab. You can see here the dynamic content icon. So to fetch the featured image, we need to scroll down in the field section to find featured image URL under media. It's so simple, right? Now we have a dynamic card block presenting dynamic data from the living room post. For the remaining two cards, we just need to follow the same steps while keeping in mind that we are fetching data from different posts. So for this one, we'll select the dining area for the post or pages field. And now for the last card, we will select the master's bedroom post. And in just a few minutes, we finished this dynamic section of our page. Selecting the latest posts for your dynamic fields. Another one of the dynamic sources you can choose from is called Latest Post, which will also allow you to add dynamic content from your existing blog posts. Once you select Latest Post, another drop-down will appear wherein you can choose from which post you want. The nice thing about this option is, 
the content will automatically update whenever you publish a new post. To show you an example, you have a section on the same page for other listings. Here, you want to show other apartments that are for sale. So for the first column, we will add a dynamic field again, but instead of choosing other posts for the dynamic source, we will choose latest post. Afterwards, let's select first latest post, which means that it will fetch data from the last post that we published. So let's go ahead and fill up the data. Now, for the second column, we will do the same thing, but instead of choosing first latest post, we will choose second latest post, so this will fetch data from the second to the last post we published. Now if you navigate to our post section in the WordPress dashboard, you have here a post titled La Casa Apartments, which is saved as a draft. Let's go ahead and publish this post. And then go back to the page we're editing. And then refresh the page. Now we will see that the content of the other listings adjusted based on the latest post we just published. Isn't it cool? This is what stackable dynamic content can do. Post URL Another thing to note that stackable dynamic content can do is to add a post URL to your dynamic field and then show it as a link in the front end. Just select the button block and then navigate to the inspector where you will see the link panel under the style tab. Click on the dynamic content icon beside the link or URL field and follow the same steps as earlier. Make sure to select post URL as the field. The dynamic content feature in Stackable is a very powerful feature and allows you to do so much more with your content. You can use dynamic content inside reusable blocks, you can use it inside the query loop block to build custom lists, and you can use it inside full site editing. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you need more information regarding Stackable, feel free to join our Facebook community or visit our website. We link them down below.